Hey guys, it's uh, Leif here from iTech. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, set up a scan to email server on uh, on the Brother MFDs. Uh, I'm just going to show you this. Uh, many uh, many of the Brother MFDs would have this uh, option when you uh, want to scan to server. I'm just going to show you this. If you have a look in the uh, in the brochure, it'll say that uh, network scanning is supported, and scan to email server is supported, and it's got a little uh, note uh, on that. And uh, you can see address books are only accessible as part of the scan to email server function, available as an optional free download from the Brother Solution Center. So that means that out of the box you cannot scan to uh, email server and uh, in order to turn this on we're going to have to download a utility from the Brother website. So I'm going to jump to that now. Uh, I'm on the, just change tabs here, I'm now on the Brother Solutions uh, download website and you can uh, uh, just google that or follow this link. and. Uh, in the product search just select your model and uh, in this case I'm going to set up uh, this one here and click on the download section select your operating system and hit search and uh, the uh, download we're looking for it's a utility and it's not actually showing up in this list here under utilities we're going to click the show all button and uh, this is the uh, tool that we need to install the scan to email server so it's called the internet fax installation tool uh, and don't uh, get confused by the internet fax wording uh, in the description you can see this tool will install the internet fax slash scan to email server feature so this is the one we want to download so click on that and just wait for that uh, to download uh, you're gonna have to click on yeah just confirm the information you have to agree and uh, the uh, download will automatically start so now once we've uh, downloaded that we're ready to uh, to run this uh, tool so now we're ready to run our install tool so I'm just going to download, uh, double click on the download link. I'm going to say yes to the user account control. And we're going to wait for the wizard to come up, which is here. And you can say, uh, see, so that's a brother firmware update tool. And you can see the, uh, the printer is, uh, just shows up there automatically. This is the one I would like to update. So I'm going to select next and accept and next and uh, it's now completed so we're gonna select done and that's the uh, process for uh, updating the uh, uh, firmware tool to scan to email now we're gonna have a look at the uh, changes to the uh, configuration on the actual printer so I've gone into my internet browser and uh, browse the IP address of the printer, which in this case is 192.168.231. That will be uh, uh, different uh, depending on what the, the IP address is of the printer. So now I'm going to go into the address book and show you a couple of changes. You can see here I've actually already typed in my email address, but before we applied this uh, uh, scan to email firmware there was no where to put in the email address so this is what we do to enter new email addresses in the address book you select uh, the type to be email address so select that over here type in a name which is the name of the button or the menu choice in the address book and type in the email there scroll down to the bottom and hit submit so we can fill up the address book with emails, that's step number one. And uh, to set up the actual email server settings, we go into the network tab, so click on that, 
and we go into uh, protocol and we scroll down and we want to look at this one the pop3 imap smtp settings make sure that that's ticked and go into advanced settings and i'm going to show you i've already uh, entered in my email settings this uh, you will find this uh, in your email settings uh, software or host uh, whoever your email provider is so what we need to get this all working uh, is a email server address type that in there and uh, select whether your uh, email server requires authentication or not if there's authentication enabled you would enter the account name you wish to use and the password and also there's you can select SSL settings uh, to be whatever your uh, email provider uh, supports and this is important as well the device email address which is the email address used as a from email address when scanning emails so pop that in there and hit submit uh, once you make any changes and you submit this you can also do a test so you could cancel this but it's always good practice to do a test and you can type in an email address you would like to do the send a test to and I'm just going to type in my email there and you can tick to send a test email and uh, uh, you can also test receive email I haven't set up uh, receive email because I don't want uh, my printer to receive emails so I just want to be able to uh, send email for scanning purposes and click submit And you can see that takes a couple of seconds. Send email configuration. It is verified that the specified email send configuration is valid. If you don't get a uh, confirmation there, just double check your settings again and uh, try again. So, okay on that. And we are now ready to go and we can uh, scan to email. Okay, now we're at the printer, and now I'm going to show you how uh, we scan to email on the uh, Brother MSD, so or MSC. So I'm going to put the uh, document into the top feeder, face up. Okay, then we're going to go into scan on the menu, and you're going to notice here I can scroll over to the one that says scan to email server. So I'm going to select OK on that. Then I'm going to select the address book where we've got uh, all the emails. Uh, I've only got one entry in the address book, so I'm going to select that, confirm, and hit start. I'll hit confirm and then hit start. Okay. Uh, we're now scanning that document to email. And that's it. That's how we scan the email on the brother and the